and welcome back this is Steve of Bugs Coins and today I'm going to take you through a first part of a series of two videos to do with the Festival of Britain so the first thing I'm going to show you is six stamps we have a one penny red that shows King George VI with a crown above his head and the there was a horse and cart that is also the same on this coin here, on um, this one here, which is two and a half penny blue, which has a horse and cart, and King George with the crown above his head. The red two and a half penny shows Britannia, or it may even be Una, I'm not sure which one it is, with a flower symbol in the centre and a cartouche with Edward the uh, sorry George the sixth photo in it with a crown above it. The one below it, which is a blue two and a half penny, shows a diamond lozenge shape with King George the sixth in it with a crown above it. The purple, which is a threepenny one shows the King George the six with the crown above his head on the right hand side of the coin along with the value the value is also in the bottom left and you have a piece of in the center of the stamp and the final stamp is the four penny four penny one it actually says Festival of Britain underneath it it has a Festival of Britain logo with the four pence then the king's portrait above it with the crown above that on the right hand side of the stamp these six stamps make up one of the sets that was issued for the festival of britain i'll just put that to one side the next thing i want to show you is this thing here Ali, this is huge Whoops, wrong way. This, let's take it up a look just a little bit more. This is the programme for the whole of the Festival of Britain. It has a Festival of Britain logo with 1951 on it. It says it's from London and it's a South Bank exhibition. Festival of Britain across the bottom. And it says the guide and the price is two and sixpence or half a crown. This was produced to help people work their way around. And like a lot of things within uh, new, when you, you, you're producing guides and what have you, a lot of advertising is allowed. And it's quite interesting looking at some of these adverts which we really don't have time for here. What I'm trying to get to well, they got their money's worth these people when they produced this book didn't they for the people advertising in it. Oh here we go. The South Bank Exhibition. First light is full of adverts. First 10 or 12 pages are adverts. Yeah, well, these people tend to get their own way a lot, don't they? And here we go. Now, this whole area here is the festival site. It gives you an overall plan of the whole area and each of the numbers has its own write-up about it. I won't go into great details there, but what I will do is I'll show you this one where it says this is the outer space area. So you've got the all the pavilion stuff in here and how to get round and where things are situated. There's another one there which is the sea. And this I believe is the Thames, isn't it? Somewhere around here. You have the whole pavilion area for everything to do with the sea 
that was in that in this exhibition. I think there's one more here. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a polar. Let me just bring it back in so you can see what I'm talking about. There's a map for the polar part of the uh, area. So this guide was in, in totally inclusive. It was a fair old price, but look at the thickness of it. This in itself is a, it's a fantastic historical document, and this is one of the reasons why I got it. So I'll just put that to one side for a second. And what I'll do is I'll just pause the video. Hello, I'm back again with you. I just had to clean the, clear the stamps away before they started blowing everywhere. This is one of the postcards from the Festival of Britain. And across the bottom here, it says this is the pleasure, the pleasure pavilion. What exactly is meant by that, I don't know. I presumed it showed some of the stuff from uh, people, uh, how people enjoyed their leisure time in the 1950s or late 40s and early 50s and what they could expect perhaps in the near future to be that they could be using their time to presume to look at so I did have other postcards that I wanted to buy when I saw them online but unfortunately the ones of the trains and things like that going around the site started going for silly money so I wasn't able to get a hold of them however we press on. Now these are called stamps, oversized stamps. They come with a backing card. Now I don't know whether originally these stamps, let me just take your way out so you can see what I'm talking about fully. These stamps were perforated down this one side. It does say there, stamp, souvenir stamps. Now I don't know if these oversized stamps, they had an album that you could collect all the different colours in, but I have here a blue and a turquoise colour one. They cover, whoops, is that the juggler? They cover slightly different, uh, they cover slightly different areas of London, uh, historical areas. You've got, for instance, St Paul's on that one, you've got Westminster Abbey on that one. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, areas that in, uh, are in and around London. You've got Trafalgar Square, you've got the Tower, you've got the Festival site, which appears on both of them. You've got the Bank of England, the Theatre Royal, Horse Guards. So they, these stamps cover different areas of London. I'm just not sure how many different ones there were. I've only got two of them. If somebody can tell me, are there more of these stamps that were issued, these oversized stamps? Because I'd be interested to see if I can complete the set, being the completionist I am. So that's the oversized stamps. So you can see there's a fair amount of stuff that the exhibition was known for. And I have two final things I want to show you before I finish this video. One, you'll automatically recognise the Festival of Britain coin holder. There is on this one a insert of some description. Now I'll leave that down to you to pause it and read it in your own time. What I will do is I'll just turn that upside, in fact I won't, I'll do the other one. I'll take the coin out of the box and this is a coin. Look how beautiful that looks. That coin is 71 years old. It was issued in 1951, it's now 2022. It's 71 years old. This coin was produced in the last full year of George VI's life to represent the Festival of Britain.
and on the back look how immaculate that is you got George and the Dragon with the date of 1951 this is a crown it actually says there it doesn't actually call it itself a crown it calls itself five shillings which of course is a crown so we have some oversized stamps we have a festival coin we have the guide I have one more thing to show you and it's a little bit of silliness on the back here I don't know if you can see it Let's just, whoa sorry about that just take it down a little bit and possibly out a little bit as well there we go we have a ticket we have the London Underground symbol at the top there and underneath it says let me get this it says the Festival of Britain 1951 you have a picture of the site of the Festival of Britain and you have a, a punch hole mark there at the bottom of it it says London Transport Special Bus Service Festival of Britain is what that says there and at the bottom it looks like the Houses of Parliament it is the Houses of Parliament on the other side we have I'm not sure if that's the amount of time it's it uh, yeah, if, whether it's an hourly bus service or what but the uh, ticket number is 2472 it says a three penny ticket and it says at the, just underneath the Festival of Britain logos it says London Transport Special Bus Service Festival of Britain there yeah. there's the th three pence of what the value of the ticket is there's the punch hole this at the bottom here is a Festival of Britain logo now I don't know whether this is another clip mark that has been extended it's like it has a slightly jagged edge as if it's been torn as well but I don't know whether initially that was like another clip mark I wonder how many of these are around still in that sort of condition it was so unusual and in such good condition it's an everyday item that was in such great condition that was a historic document in its own right in, in some ways in the fact that it's uh, a bus ticket for such a very special occasion there must have been thousands of these issued I wonder how many of them have survived if you've enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up it didn't cost you anything except for a couple of seconds of your time I've also been doing some research on YouTube about my the analytics for my channel and it's saying approximately 40% of the people who are viewing my work are not subscribed to the channel so I'm doing a special appeal particularly to those people who the who I've just stated if you are a, a person who views the channel on a semi-regular basis and you're not yet subscribed could you please do so I would love to have you along for the rest of my journey through coins banknotes and collectibles and military as well and uh, it will also help me boost my numbers towards my first hundred complete my first hundred and then onwards and upwards from there I do have another second uh, Festival of Britain coin to show you in the second video that I'm about to produce uh, about to record straight after this one so in the meantime I hope you've enjoyed this thank you for watching and until we meet again on this channel which I hope will be not too far into the distant future till after me bye bye
Thank <laughs> you.